My name is Ron Anzalone, and I'm the chair of the Falls Church Historical Commission. We're standing uh, in front of the old historic Falls Church, Episcopal Church. It was completed in 1769. George Washington and George William Fairfax and George Mason were all members of the vestry or governing board of the Episcopal Church here in Virginia. A lot of people ask, why is Falls Church called Falls Church? This church was established as what was called the Upper Church when the area started to be settled late in the 1600s and then in the early 1700s. This was along the main route to the Little Falls on the Potomac, which is just above Chain Bridge. The area became known by the name of the church on the way to the falls, and the settlement that grew up around the church became known as Falls Church as well. It was very important up until um, the end of the Revolutionary War. And then, of course, uh, when we severed ties with England, we severed ties with the Church of England. And so for a long time, the Falls Church was actually not used. Uh, it was abandoned. And it was not until the 18 20s and 30s that it began to be used again um, up through the Civil War. And then during the Civil War, it had a lot of damage from uh, Union troops and others, and it had to be repaired extensively after the Civil War. So really, the congregation here at the Falls Church has been active since the 1870s. The seal of the City of Falls Church has a depiction of the historic Falls Church and the date of 1875, the date of the charter of the town when the town was incorporated. And the city fathers at that time decided that the Falls Church was the appropriate symbol for the town. And um, it said a lot about the history and about the original founding of the settlement.